<laughs> this looks sick. <laughs> hey, alright guys, Trey Fukuchi here today with, and we're back with Vinland Saga episode four. After our double edge blade, really, where we got three episodes in a row and got us powered through the pre pre, pre log of the show, we then have we did then have to wait three weeks for the next episode, which was brutal. But since then, I've been just been I've just been watching the intro on YouTube an unreasonable amount of times as I really enjoyed it. Really, I love how they did the three episodes. It just kept you intrigued. Like, it was quite a lot of slow build-up to, like, getting you introduced to the world, the characters, the traits, what's happened in the past, sort of, like, what's going on now. I'm assuming the dad's going to do a Ned Stark and he's going to die, die either soon or at some point because we've obviously got to set the kid's story off because the kid is the main character of the show. By the looks, but judging by the intro, but I am quite interested because in the intro, it sort of shows him working with this guy who ambushes him right now. He's sort of like it, but then he sees him dueling, so a lot of shit must go down. I'm really excited to see where that's going to go. I did end up buying the manga. I do have it. Wait. I was in um, what was it? Forbidden Planet, and I just saw all the villain saga, and I was like, oh, I'm buying that manga. That was an expensive purchase, but I can't fucking touch it <laughs> because I am a reaction channel. I do tend to, I, I prefer my reaction to be fresh and I don't know what's going on. So, I have got the manga. I probably won't read it until this is over, but as soon as the first season of this is over, man, I'm just going to just rinse through the manga. Um, but, yeah, I'll probably just read, read, <coughs> read it then. Uh, yeah, I do have the manga now, so I'm ready to jump into that as soon as the first season's over. Up to you if you want to believe me or not, but I don't really intend to read it until afterwards. I have got some sort of restraint. But I am looking forward to jumping into the manga because I feel like this is going to be a series I'm going to love. Um, someone pointed out, I was like, oh, you got Berserk and Vagabond, but you don't have, you've not read Vinland Saga. I'm like, I didn't even know this existed until the teaser trailer for this was released and i don't know how i didn't because i remember when i finished berserk i was looking for similar shows and that's how i got vagabond and then monster the, the, how i found those three shows because it was in the similar category i don't know i've never heard of him in saga but the first three episodes i absolutely loved them i thought it was a fantastic introduction to the show and i'm really looking forward to see where the show goes well i trust which studio can handle the animation of this as well the only thing i might be a bit worried about is it's because it's a viking show that tends to be like not massive scale because i know back when vikings were around the battles weren't massive it was sort of like most of the time even 100 v 100 it wouldn't be big massive battles but hopefully they can nail down the um, the animation for that. I'm looking forward to like exploring England and all that stuff. Oh, I'm looking I'm looking forward to where this show can go. As yeah, I don't, I'm really curious just where it's going to go. Like it can go in some directions, but I'm curious. But first, we need to see if the dad gets killed or not yet. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoy this reaction. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for the views and likes on the previous part, guys. I appreciate it massively. But let's jump into this beast of an anime. <laughs> What badass. Oh, fuck. He's not still not merciless, though. But how hard does he punch? Mate. <laughs> Otherwise, not even using his sword. What a guy. Oh, I thought I didn't want him to die, but I just see that's where the story's going to go. Around. I don't know how he's going to die, though. Mate, he looks badass. I would not mess with him. Is he getting hyped up? I <laughs> only get one episode. I can't be like free. I need true berserker. Fucking hell! It's about to go super saiyan. I doubt he just... Fucking hell, he's just ruining his own men. I love how calm he is. Well, oh, I mean, Kai just a badass. So foreign. Oh boy. <laughs> Sit down. Mate, he's getting wrecked. Is that... Huh? What a monster of a character. <laughs> they were scared of him and he just seen him get wrecked. Did he just lob him? <laughs> Sit down. I know I've still got to have that anime sort of powers in the fight. Because obviously no real person could do this. Mate, you underestimate that boy. He's such a savage. But they've got the archers on the ridge still. They're still dangerous. Don't matter how powerful he is. Interest pretty spoiled when you think about it, but it's still fucking awesome. 
do I'm gonna do not the main character since on later. Do 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 See he's on the boat with him now. What happens? Yeah, then he's dueling him, so I'm really curious what happens between them. You know, the most annoying thing about getting all that manga as well. It only didn't have volume one just to piss me off. Oh, the archers. <laughs> we got the high ground. Yeah, what is he doing? Where's the leader? He's gonna fuck. There he is. I love his design, he looks very sick. I love how he just points him out. He won't accept that. <laughs> I love his negotiated skills 100. He just be strongest warrior. Because you got the most unique design. Oh, he's just going to accept it. This seems dodgy. Surely he's not that confident in his skill. He's going to do something. He's going to have like the archer shoot on him. Oh, mate, I'm just, I need to know. What the fuck? Am I underestimating the blonde guy? Is he actually really good at dueling? This is signal? Oh, does he play dirty? What? Oh, mate! That was sweet. I give him that. Maybe I am underestimating. I thought he was a bit weaker. That was savage. I'm impressed. I'll take him seriously now then. Whoa. Mate. He did gain my respect with that move. I thought I thought he was just gonna be some sort of lesser guy. Oh mate. Look at the rebound he took from that one hit. Oh, this looks sick. Mate, they had that much confidence in the leader then. Oh boy, this is sick. I love it. This is one reason I won't dive into the monk because I just want to see it animated. Because I could just believe Wick can do such a great job. He's doing a good job holding up, to be fair. I feel like he's going to do the signal with the archers. Oh shit. Ooh. He's gonna grab it. Oh, straight on his arm. <laughs> Disarmed. <laughs> Boy. Mate, that's just called warrior fucking instinct there. That was sick. That was worth the wait for three weeks. <laughs> Wit Studio. Fucking heroes. <laughs> oh, pushing his hand there. Like I saw a guy, he was just like, no, I'm not surrendering in front of my men. I can respect that. That blown guy's just got a game I respect. Oh, mate. Based on that half to lesson. I like I like the kid. I think like he's got that innocence still, and he's got a lot to learn. But he's not annoying.
<laughs> now he was being fully serious there. And he looked into his eyes there. Right, I'll go for the uh, thing, you kip, thing you hit now, low blow. Wait, is this really how he's going to die? Mate, he's too nice of a man. Fuck. Is he that honourable? He should have just killed, man. To die by your word like that. I really got my hopes up there who's going to survive that. I like the depth of this guy though. He's not like some simple mercenary. I love how the guy's just got fucking arrows sticking out of him. He's just giving his fucking speech. Mate, this crazy fucker. Mate, he's left such a big impact already. You know, it's been, it's been three episodes. I know why he's doing it because, like, at the end of the day, like, the village is in danger. Like, they wouldn't give up without me in his head, and he just didn't want to kill. That's sticking by your word. Oh, no, not the tear works. No. I can hold it back. There we go. Punched. This episode. That's what I mean. This guy's got layers, mate. That's going to be a lesson you're going to have to learn yourself, isn't it, kid? Mate. I don't know how this just kicks the story off the wall quick, though. Made that hatred in his eyes. They've mastered doing hatred in the eyes for Attack on Titan, so I, don't, I can understand why Wits nailed it. I don't know why he's not laughing. That voice actor. Fucking hell. Wits know how to do animation on the face. And our journey begins. What an insane start to a show. That <coughs> was insanely good. The three week that was three weeks paid off tenfold over. Fucking hell. That instantly like <laughs> that one episode instantly bumped it. Like it was I knew this was already gonna be one of my most anticipated, but that's that that's bumped up that man. That was such a good third episode fourth episode. I love it. No, it was great. Great animation fight, but it was more the the fight was really well animated, and I love that, but it was more the meaning of this whole episode. This has kicked off our whole story. This is uh, now the kid's journey. For him, for him was such a fucking badass. Like, that was insane. I love how he stuck by his word. He didn't want to kill anymore. He stuck by it. He didn't waver. He got shot by the arrows. He just accepted it. He was just like, he could have easily killed all of them, but what would he really lost in the process at the end of it, let's be honest. At least now his village won't be pursued. His kid's sort of safe. I really appreciate Phoenix's character as well. How do you pronounce his name? Askelad. I think like he's such a deep character already. Like they've set him up as such a deep character. Like man was just doing his job. 
he I underestimated him massively. Like he was actually really good at fucking dueling. I didn't think he was going to be. Um, I love how he joked about him being a leader, but I could tell he was probably being very serious about that quote if he said yeah to it. I uh, <coughs> love his sort of like he didn't laugh when the kid was like showing the hatred. Um, he sort of just like accepted that he just accepted it. He's just like, yeah, I wonder what I was going for. And then like when he's found out like none of his men was killed, and I surprised he was. It was just like, yeah, that I think he f- foreign like foreign's left a long impression on him, and I think like he's gonna be a really fun character in the show to like sort of explore and I hope we dive quite a bit more into him. I'm just like now we've separated. Now we've got the kid. He's doing his own. He's joined this boat, so he's gonna join his mercenary bands. I'm guessing. But not still want to get back at him. And he's just got to get stronger. I love the kid. He's a sort of innocent lad who's like, loved his father, family. Was a bit naive to the world. And now it's just like that one little thing just turned things around because he can't grasp why his dad was doing this. Whereas, like, I can understand why his, where his dad was coming from and why he was so honourable. To fight someone like that, like, fucking hell. When you thought Ned Stark was honourable, he fucking took it 10 times into another level, in my opinion. Absolute legend. He's just left. He's pretty much left his mark on the series. Like in the three episodes he was in, he was fantastic, and I loved him. And like in the fourth episode when he died, the way he died, he just fucking got shot by arrows, and he was just like, oh, I mean, fucking fantastic show, uh, <coughs> fantastic introduction to the show. Really look forward to where it goes. Like I said, I will try and avoid reading the manga. If I do read it, I will just tell you guys that I've read it. But for now, I think I can hold off, even though I really want to jump into it. But I really want to just experience. I love experiencing anime and like things being animated for the first time. I just think it's a lot more interesting and I think genuine reaction is more important to me. But I'm really looking forward to see how this unfolds, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe and hope to see you next week. Peace.